Solutions Review is on location at Commvault Go in Nashville, Tennessee. Brought to you by Commvault. Hey, it's Doug Atkinson here at Commvault Go 2018, and it is a customer conference, and we are lucky enough to have a customer, a very nice customer, uh, and that's TiVo, and we are here with Barry Hubbard, who is the Senior Director of Global Infrastructure at TiVo. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, I appreciate it. Now, you're here telling your story uh, to all of the folks that are attending, and it's quite a big event. Uh, how did you come about uh, being effectively a, an example for, for Commvault? Well, we, we entered into an exploration a couple of years ago when Rovi bought TiVo, um, and between what we call Legacy Rovi and Legacy TiVo, we had very disparate systems across the board. One of our biggest problems was we have a lot of data and very important data, and the way that we were backing it up was ineffective and needed to be revamped entirely. So Commvault was the natural progression of trying to solve that problem. Now, as I understand it, and we, we all kind of know TiVo as a, as a DVR company, but really you guys have expanded into quite a few different things. Absolutely. And that's really driven some of your needs around data. Correct. So TiVo was the first DVR in 1999, and we've continued to evolve into more progressive DVRs as you go along, um, and really a friendly DVR for the person on the couch to be able to do a lot of things. And what we were known for was to be able to search. And so to be able to search, that data has to reside someplace. Um, what Rovi brought to the table was a metadata group, which is already on so many smart TVs and devices everywhere, and the ability to search movies and music and everything else. And in today's generation, people aren't on the couch anymore. They're in their cars, they're on a train, they're on a plane. They've got to have access to the data. We've got to be able to give that to them real time and not something that they push play and we say uh, searching. So it was very important that we had something that was reliable and efficient like Commvault has been. And so how far along are you? I know Commvault is, is presenting quite a suite now of, mm -hmm. of solutions. How far along are you in the, in the Commvault story? Well, we went to Commvault Go last year as a customer that was just about to sign the deal. So in one year, uh, we set ourselves into phases to do our implementation, and we exceeded all expectations and hit phase one uh, two months early with hundreds of extra terabytes of data already moved, and then we're already into phase two and moving along, um, really not only because of Commvault and their solution, but the bar that is helping us along, Eagle, um, and they've been doing a fantastic job in bringing us along step by step. Well, now I know, uh, you know, it's a very competitive space, obviously, and, and, a, and, a, and a nice name brand like TiVo must get a lot of phone calls from, from eager salespeople. I'm curious how you, how you came to believe Commvault was, was the right decision uh, to go with. Well, a couple of things took place. One is that Commvault had an early foot in the door um, before our purchase and they were trying to come up with a solution for just their legacy equipment. That was all put on hold while the acquisition took place. And then between who we were using at the time and who uh, Legacy Rovi had been using before, we went through a competition phase and we had four or five different vendors all at the same time. The presentation that Commvault made, having us out for an EDC in New Jersey, showing us how not only did they have a solution, but they had a tailorable solution for problems that we might have. And as they continued to do exploring on our part, they put together a solution that looked perfect for us. So I'm curious, uh, you know, as somebody who's an expert in the space, where do you see things headed in terms of the next two, three years with regard to, you know, either, either you know, backup or data in the cloud. I mean, what do you see as kind of a key and keys and key initiatives that you're you're thinking about? Data in the cloud is where I think everything is going to go. The hesitation is always what's going to happen to our information in the cloud, and the lack of faith in cloud solutions that are out there. But I really do see that all the infrastructure that we currently have, the physical infrastructure, needs to be phased out. 
slowly but phased out, and the cloud solution provides much more immediacy, much more resiliency, much greater security because that's what those folks do. They they know how to secure that data. Well, so with regard to, to that, that objection topic that you were just kind of touching on, there is some friction with regard to thinking about moving to the cloud. Can you talk a little bit more about, about you know, what those objections are and how companies like a combo can begin to overcome them? Because they're legitimate, real, and, and I think cultural. Sure, absolutely, and, and, and generational too. Generational. Because if you were to take people in the millennial era, right. to, for them, explaining the cloud is nothing. To explain to people who sit on boards, who make financial decisions, they're concerned about all of their um, criteria that are there for audits and PCI compliance and those sorts of things, and they're fearful of what they used to know about hosting information someplace else. Again, that Azure's of the world, AWS's of the world, they've really made their niche in doing this in a really skilled fashion. So if Commvault were to partner with someone rather clearly in this, and say, this is our tried and tested solution, um, and we're able to demonstrate like they did everything else for us last year, I think that the sale would be a lot easier. Yeah, no, I, I think it's a it's a very interesting time because culture. You know, your point about generational uh, being older, it, I, I totally get that. You know, there is a a shift that's happening, but there's still you know kind of senior management, I guess maybe right. uh, that looks more like me, uh, that, uh, <laughs> like us. <laughs> yeah, right. That that still have those kind of you know ingrained fears about sure. letting their data outside into absolutely. Uh, you know. If you can't put your hands on it, which is why the Iron Mountains of the world still are thriving, because people want to go touch that tape. They want to be able to say, all right, as a demonstration, send me my last 30 days tapes. You can't do that with these other things. You're just saying, okay, Jonathan, I want you to pull back the last 30 days, all incrementals, and then do a full restore. And now we have this great pane of glass that shows what we're doing if we get the senior executives to see, to believe, and to understand that, we're halfway down that road. Well, and, I th and, it's, and it's going to happen. It, it, there's just kind of no stopping right. it, right? Is it going to be with them or without them? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, well, this has been great. Thanks very much for coming by. It's been very helpful, and uh, we hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. You bet. Right.